But right in through here, we have some very heavy thunderstorms over central and eastern Mississippi under that cold air aloft. And that's what we will deal with uh, for the rest of the night. There's a chance any of the storms uh, that come through could contain hail and strong, gusty wind. Scott, we don't have any severe weather right now in the state, but some thunderstorms in West Alabama are bordering on the severe limit. Uh, there's some small hail and gusty winds out in the western part of the state. Those will move through the Birmingham area later tonight. We'll be watching those carefully. Uh, you're looking at the thunderstorm situation. Most all of the storms west of Interstate 65. A couple of showers here in Walker County. Here's a couple between Selma and Montgomery, but we'll zoom in to the west central part of the state and show you the one storm of some concern. Of course, uh, what you're looking at here is uh, Interstate 59 and 20. Here's Tuscaloosa. This very heavy thunderstorm is in Greene County, uh, just to the northeast of the city of Utah. This is moving northeast, almost right up Interstate 59 and 20. Uh, this right now is probably producing some small hail along with gusty winds. As we talked about at 5 o'clock, the air aloft over the storm is very cold. And as this moves through Tuscaloosa County, you folks could see some hail and gusty winds. Right now, no warnings in effect here, but we'll watch those storms very carefully as they move through. You can see this line of storms advancing into the western part of the state from Mississippi. All of that under an upper air low that continues to spin away west of the state. You can see the rain bands spiraling around that very nicely. Is a thermal contrast or a temperature contrast. Uh, we've got a warm front near Birmingham, and there's the area of low pressure. At 6 o'clock, it's 67 in Montgomery. Montgomery, but only 48 at Tupelo, Mississippi. Concern. Here's Tuscaloosa. The storm uh, right now is almost on the Warrior River, right on the Green Hale County line. This will be moving rapidly to the east, affecting primarily the southern third of Tuscaloosa County, much of Hale and uh, the eastern part of Green Counties. Uh, in the core of this storm, there's a pretty good potential of hail. So uh, for those of you in the path of this thunderstorm, you can expect hail, possibly some damaging winds as it continues moving pretty rapidly to the east at about 30 miles per hour. So again, we have a severe thunderstorm warning for southern Tuscaloosa, Greene, and Hale counties in effect until 715. We'll have storm track updates at least every 15 minutes, so stay with us. I'm James Spann, live in the Doppler 6 Weather Center. Weather Center, a severe thunderstorm warning continues in effect for southern Tuscaloosa County and Hale County until 715. Now, Greene County was under the warning, but the storms have now moved east of Greene County. This is one of the main storms of concern. This one is passing about 25 miles due south of downtown Tuscaloosa uh, in southern Tuscaloosa and northern Hale counties. If you live in Moundville, Akron, Taylorville, or Duncanville, you'll probably have hail and possibly some strong damaging winds as the storm moves to the east at 35 miles per hour. So again, southern Tuscaloosa and Hale counties under a severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 715. Also, let's point out very heavy thunderstorms have now developed in the Birmingham area from the downtown area back to the south and west on down toward Bessemer and beyond. Uh, these thunderstorms are growing quite strong and possibly could produce some hail and high winds in the Birmingham area. We'll be watching the storms carefully.